So since there's not a lot of information on the internet about time bikes, in particular this latest Alpe d'Huez 2023, I thought I'd make a quick video about this particular bike that I just got made for me. Um, it's actually the first time I've ridden it properly in kind of a hilly, hilly route. Um, so I thought I'd sort of talk through the bike, um, give my first impressions. Hopefully this is useful information for anyone else considering buying one of these bikes. Um, so the bike I'm coming from uh, prior to this is, is still a good bike. It's a 2020 BMC Team Machine SLR013 uh, with Thrum Force. Um, it was a really good bike, but um, I had some issues with it, particularly the, the SRAM Force group set. I uh, really, really didn't get on with it, had a lot of problems with it. Um, had to get many components of it changed. And uh, after a lot of expensive services, I decided it's time just to go something, go something a little bit different, have a bike custom made for me, particularly living in central Switzerland. We have some pretty extreme roads here and I needed something that I knew was perfect out of the box so to speak, um, for the kind of riding that I do. So uh, yeah, this is the frame, it's uh, extra large, 188 centimeters. Um, the bike was set up by the bike shop that has my prior fit data and it's really, they did a fantastic job from what I can tell so far. Um, the frame itself uh, is definitely not light. I mean, people have talked about this on the internet. It's not a light bike. Um, I'll talk through the components I went for in the end, but in this extra large size with this chroma red, paint um, with pedals and without anything else the bike came in at about 8.3 kilograms which is actually 400 grams more than the, my old BMC so it's not a light bike um, but you're basically making up for the extra weight in terms of the quality of the frame um, so the frame is is absolutely fantastic quality I mean I got this delivered directly to the bike shop in Zurich where I got it made directly from Slovakia um, and uh, we got it out of the box together. The, this bike shop they sell, you know, BMC, Trek, Basso, a whole load of other more prestigious um, brands, including some more esoteric brands, like they used to sell Look Bikes, and the mechanics have said they've never built a frame up with this quality before. So it really is spectacular quality, and I'm no expert, but you can really tell. I mean, just gazing at this exposed carbon layup is just absolutely glorious to behold. Um, and it's such an unusual bike. I mean, this bike shop, They've never built a time frame up before, so for them it was actually quite a quite a unique experience as well. But yeah, bike frame, fantastic quality. Um, and then to go with it, I got um, well, Schmal Tegra Di2, 12-speed, 5034 at the front and 1134 at the back. Uh, like I said, living in central Switzerland, the roads here are extremely steep, a lot of hills. I mean, I've so far I've ridden today 20 kilometers and done almost 700 meters of climbing gradients in the double figures so <clears throat> honestly this this gearing is really essential here um, the wheels are Campagnolo Bora WTO 45 discs um, I've never ridden 45 millimeter deep wheels before and these have just been fantastic so far just like the sound of them the rolling the ride quality is just it's just great I mean obviously it's hard to tell what is contributing to the ride quality whether it's the frame or the wheels but for me these have been excellent um, what else? The tyres, Vittoria Pro, uh, Corsa Pro, 28 millimetres. Um, so far, yeah, so good. Um, up front, we've got the Data Superbox stem, and then Data Super Zero RS handlebars. Um, yeah, really good. Uh, really nice quality, very comfortable. The drops are absolutely fantastic. Um, really love those. Very comfortable to descend on this bike. And then the saddle is a Pro uh, Team Stealth Carbon, I believe. And then at the back we've got a Data Carbon um, seat post. Can't remember the exact model. Pedals are just Shimano or Tegra. Uh, yeah, so that's the that's the setup. Um, now, in terms of the ride quality, I mean, like I said, I've only done a short ride so far today, but it's involved. Some, some pretty big hills, a 400 meter climb, another 200 meter climb, uh, big descent. And I would say, first of all, you hear, I've seen some videos where people say, you, um, you know, you take one, someone said you take one pedal forward on the time bike and uh, you're immediately in love. Now, 
maybe it's coming from a great bike like a BMC, but that was not my experience. I mean, for sure, this is an amazing bike, but it's not going to be, if you're coming from another great bike, you know, a great BMC, Specialized, Trek, Colnago, whatever, I don't think you're going to be like, it's not going to be night and day. Um, but the more I've ridden it, the more impressed I've been. Um, so first of all, it feels incredibly quick to accelerate out the pedal. When you're going on a climb, it just feels like there's endless um, acceleration. And not endless acceleration, of course, but you know, it feels really stable, really stiff. And it feels very, very responsive. More responsive, for sure, than the BMC. Again, not we're not talking, you know, Premier League versus Conference in football terms, but we are talking about a noticeable difference. But I would say, actually, so far, the biggest difference I've seen is in descending. This bike is incredibly stable and planted descending. Not sure a combination of the wheels and the frame and the cockpit, but it feels fantastic. I just so much, it feels like I'm gliding so smooth. Um, I feel so, so confident and secure descending on this bike. Um, that's really impressed me so far. Um, the group set is a complete revelation compared to the old SRAM force it had. My God, it's so quiet, even brand new out of the box where you usually have to ride it in for a bit. So quiet and shifting is fantastic. Yeah, fantastic um, experience all around, really. So yeah, I mean, early days yet, but so far um, it's definitely worth it. I mean, the price of this bike, um, to be honest, I don't know yet because I still have to pay the import tax on the frame, which hasn't come through, but it'll be a shade under 10,000 Swiss francs or 10,000 US dollars, I guess. I'm not sure what that is in UK pounds. Um, yeah, it's, it was a tough one, tough amount of money to, to spend. Um, but um, yeah, hopefully um, it's going to make it all worthwhile once I take it for a few more rides. Yeah, so if you're considering a time bike, I would say, um, yeah, <laughs> from my ex short experience so far, it certainly is uh, living up to expectations. Again, it's not going to be a game changer if you're coming from another top bike, um, but it certainly is the nicest bike I've ridden compared to the BMC. It's certainly a better bike from my short experience so far. Um, and uh, yeah, go for it if you have any questions about the process of ordering one or getting one built up, then um, yeah, let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, all the best for anyone uh, purchasing their own time bike.